£117 million to protect UK mosques and Muslim schools from hate attacks. I wonder what's causing the hate attacks. More than £117 million will be spent to protect mosques, Muslim schools and community centres in the UK from hate attacks over the next four years, the government says. This is after, this is right after I've just recorded that video about the police all being investigated because none of them are doing their jobs. Just gave, <coughs> excuse me, they've just gave like £120 million. <laughs> To protect, to protect certain privileged, protected groups that we have in our society. Uh, Home Secretary James Cleverly said the investment would give reassurance and confidence to British Muslims. It will be spent on measuring measures including CCTV cameras, alarms and fencing. Now the funny thing about it is, is uh, anybody else, you know, buy your own cameras and buy your own fencing, but now this is being government subsidised. For, again, a certain protected, privileged group. Uh, the announcement comes in response to concerns the Israel-Hamas conflict is fueling division in the UK. But that's happening halfway across the world. How could it be happening here? You know, I wonder, you know, fucking bringing their fucking stupid gay conflict to our fucking doorstep that has nothing to do with us. Mr. Cleverly said, anti-Muslim hatred has absolutely no place in our society. Disagree. Uh, <laughs> not, that was a joke. We will not let events in the Middle East be used as an excuse to justify abuse against British Muslims. The Prime Minister has made clear that we stand with Muslims in the UK. Well, he would say that. That, that is exactly why we have committed to this funding, giving reassurance and confidence to UK Muslims at a time when it is crucially needed. But crucially needed. The funding announced at the beginning of Ramadan forms a part of a package. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot it's Ramadan. Well, wait a minute, where's our protection? It's Ramadan. Ra Ramadan has begun, gentlemen. May the odds be ever in your favour. Forms part of a package of support to provide reassurance that anti-Muslim abuse, threats or harassment or any form of hate crime will not be tolerated. That was already the case. You arrest everyone for that all the time. Not the anti-white stuff, you know, that's completely fine. But if people post that stuff, you arrest them all the time. I know because I keep track of that shit. I still get people contacting me saying, hey, just got arrested, and I can usually guess what they're going to say before they even tell me. So yeah, you were already doing like so much to prevent that, but yeah, whatever. You know, fuck, fuck us though, right? Uh, it follows Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's announcement last month of a similar package for Jewish communities totaling 70 million over the next four years. They must be fizzing at getting less money. Although to be honest, there's not that many of them in Britain. I think Scotland has about seven Jews and I annoyed all seven of them. Oosh. Get on my level. <laughs> the, pa the package to tackle anti-Muslim hate is larger than that given to the Community Security Trust to cover Jewish facilities because of the higher Muslim population and larger number of sites to cover. Curious. Crazy that, isn't it? It follows the £29.4 million already made available for 2023 to 24, which included 4.9 million allocated in the wake of the war in Gaza. The government has condemned recent reports of anti-Muslim and anti-Jewish hate cases, which charities and police say have risen by record levels. Basically, they're talking about anti-Muslim hate and anti-Jewish hate and stuff like that, and it's like, it's not from us. Well, <coughs> not the violent stuff. You know, that's not we how we conduct ourselves here in Old Blighty. That's not that's not how we roll. However, these two groups, yeah, you know, <laughs> like they and you know, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but Muslims and Jews, they they don't get along. They don't get along. You know, it's like Indians and Pakistanis or Greeks and Turks or people from Glasgow and people from Edinburgh. Right? We don't like each other, we don't get along. Right? And that's that's fair. I understand that. However, it's not you know, generic, but you know, maybe someone will throw a bacon sandwich at a mosque, you know, ooh, like, you know, not that bad. You know, we're, we're not carrying out bombings and van attacks and secret operations to break into people's houses and steal their shoes and all that type of stuff. That's, that's not us. However, these two communities absolutely are doing that to each other, right? So we basically wasted a bunch of taxpayer money on two communities that are attacking each other on our soil because they imported their bullshit with them. And now we have to fucking foot the bill. It's, it's, fucking, it's an absolute fucking joke. It's an absolute joke. 
Total government death now. I'm fucking so sick of it. Uh, Security Minister Tom T- Tom Tugendat said the package demonstrated how the government was standing firmly against hate crimes, abuse, threats or harassment against British Muslims. We continue to work closely with policing and community partners to ensure the safety and security of British Muslims, he added. Not so much for a... Uh, white British children. But anyway, uh, Israel's military launched an air and ground campaign in the Gaza Strip after Hamas's attacks on Israel on 7th October, in which about 1,200 people were killed and 253 others were taken hostage. More than 30,900 people have been killed in Gaza since then, the territory's Hamas-run health ministry says. Now, (coughs) as far as, uh, you know, Israel and Palestine goes, everybody knows my opinion by this point. Not my pig, not my farm, not my people, not my problem. Again, it's absolutely terrible, you know. I wish they would all just, you know, hold hands and fucking get along and, you know, children wouldn't have to suffer under the fucking sins of the father and stuff like that. I wish that was the case, but see when you've got a few million people who all have a blood libel all against each other, you're you're not fixing that problem. Nothing's going to fix it. The only thing that will fix this issue is when one side gets exterminated. That is the only thing that will fix it. They will never forgive each other. This problem will never be fixed, right? But the problem is now on our soil, right? You're getting... You're getting people, like, I'm even just going through Glasgow, I see people walking around with the Palestine flag saying things a hundred times fucking worse than what I almost went to prison for, which is slightly annoying. Absolutely, they should have the freedom of speech to say those things, but it pisses me off because why can't I do that? Why do they get to have all the fun? I'm doing my act on my fucking YouTube channel now. I shouldn't be doing that. Buy tickets for Birmingham. I'm coming to Birmingham. <laughs> I'm coming to Birmingham at the end of the month. But yeah, uh, this is an absolute joke. I don't know why we have to foot the bill for a problem that has nothing to fucking do with us. Right, again, the problem is terrible, but it's not our problem. Right, but it's our taxis that have to pay for it. It's an absolute joke.